What's up guys, Shay Sarns here with Droid Modder X. Cyanogen Mod has officially begun to roll out Cyanogen Mod 13 builds. They're starting out with a handful of devices, including devices like the OnePlus One, the LG G4, the Nexus 7, and several other devices. Their version of Android 6.0 should be available for your handset in the near future. In this video, I'll show you guys all the new features of Cyanogen Mod 13, and then I'll show you guys how to install it on any Android device. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that we will do is head into settings and I'll show you guys what version we're working with. Go into settings and about phone. You guys can see here that we're running Cyanogen Mod version 13.0. This is Android version 6.0 and this is for the Nexus 6. This is an unofficial build, but like I said, they have begun to officially roll out nightlies on many devices. So it should be coming to this device and many others soon. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can grab the ROM file for your particular device. All right guys, so the first big change in Cyanogen Mod 13 is the fact that it now supports fingerprint scanners. Now, I'm on the Nexus 6, so I don't have a fingerprint scanner here, but if you were running Cyanogen Mod 12.1 on a device that had a fingerprint scanner, it's probably a big, huge pain to not have that feature on your device. You'll probably be happy to know that it is a feature in Cyanogen Mod 13. So next up, we'll talk about the new UI. So the user interface in Cyanogen Mod 13 mirrors the new user interface in Android Marshmallow. If we go into the app drawer, you'll see that the major change is that the app drawer is now in alphabetical order. So it's just a list of applications rather than several pages of a grid style layout. And you now have an alphabetical order. So here I don't see a search or a recents tab like in Android Marshmallow. You can quickly and easily scroll through the alphabet down here. Cyanogen Mod has always been really great about optimizing battery performance. Cyanogen Mod 13 is no different. It includes the Doze feature from Marshmallow. So the Doze feature allows your phone to go into a deep sleep mode when it's not being used. And that means that basically you're not going to be using much of your battery at all as long as that screen's not turned on and you're not using your device. So you should expect great battery life on Cyanogen Mod 13 for your device. So another major feature of Cyanogen Mod 13 is multi-window. So if you go into your Recents tab, you'll see a little option up here in the top right corner of the application. If you click on that and change the layout, that's going to give you multi-window. You're able to use two applications at once, which is pretty awesome. Devices like the Note 5 have had this feature in the past and works really well in Cyanogen Mod 13. Now it doesn't come enabled stock. You're going to have to go into your settings, go to About Phone, Go to that build number and click on that seven times until it says you're a developer. Go into your developer options and then scroll all the way down towards the bottom. And where it says multi-window mode, you'll go ahead and turn that on. Double tapping the power button will now quick launch the camera from any screen. So whether you're on the lock screen or you're on uh, some other page within the Android operating system, you can easily and quickly launch the camera application, which is great because normally you're having to fumble around, open up the camera app, and then you can take your picture. With this, you're able to just quickly and easily open the camera application. You're not likely to miss any Kodak moments per se. So that's an awesome feature. I'm glad they brought it to Signage Mod 13. All right, so another feature that is now available on Signage Mod 13, because it's a feature that's available in Android Marshmallow, is Google on Tap. So if I load a web page here, just go ESPN.com, and I press and hold this home button. It's gonna take a snapshot of the page and give me search results for any pertinent information that I might wanna get more information on. So here it says college, uh, here it says CFP top four. So that would be for, if I wanted more information on the college football playoffs top four, I could click on that and that would give me some quick search results on that information. So that's a pretty cool feature. I'm glad it's integrated into Signage Mod 13. Okay, other than that, if we go into our settings and there's just a few little features that I wanted to make mention of here. If you go into your display, of course you have features that we have had, such as the brightness level, adaptive brightness, rotation, uh, but you have this option here, which I already talked about for the press power button twice for the camera, you can turn that on or off. Okay, you have double tap to sleep and double tap to wait. That's been a feature for a while now, but that's where you would find it. If you go into battery, you have battery modes here which is pretty cool. It does have Doze built in. There's also a power save mode, which will slow down your processor, do some different things, some different optimizations to increase battery performance even further. So that's a really nice feature to have. Then there's also performance mode if you don't care anything about your battery life and you just want your phone to operate as best as it can. 
there is that option as well. Okay, if you go to the status bar, you do have a clock option, which is something that we've always had there, center clock, and you have your battery options. That's where you'll find it. If we go into developer options, this is where you can turn on your root access. So you can turn that on for apps only or apps and ADB or ADB only. Of course, you have your standard signage and mod wallpaper fair. Uh, as far as I can tell, nothing extravagant here. Everything looks pretty similar to what we've had in the past. Maybe a few little extra signage and mod wallpapers here. So real quickly, I'll show you guys how to install the ROM. It requires that your phone be bootloader unlocked and that you have TeamWin Recovery Project installed. I have several videos on my channel uh, relating to how to achieve that on your particular device. So be sure to check that out. Okay, and then also you'll need the signage and mod nightly build and you'll need a G apps package. So I'll include links in the description of where you can download the signage and mod and also the G apps for your device. Once you have those two files downloaded onto your phone, you're just gonna wanna boot into Team Wind Recovery Project. So I'll go ahead and power off all the way. Okay, then we're gonna press and hold on the Nexus 6, we'll press and hold volume down and power. Go to recovery mode, press power. It's gonna boot up Team Win Recovery Project. So before you flash this, consider the fact that it is a nightly build. Signage Mod has come out and said that you should probably stick with their snapshot builds of Signage Mod 12.1 until they have a better vetted version of Signage Mod 13, which would be more bug free. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then also, if you decide that you do want to go ahead and flash Signage Mod 13 and you really want to be on the cutting edge, make sure that you go into backup and just have a good Nandroid backup of a currently working. Uh, if you're on stock and rooted, or if you're already on a working ROM, just make sure that you do have a full backup of that working environment. When you're finished with that, you'll go to wipe, swipe to wipe. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do that right now. And then you go to install, you'll click signage in mod 12, add more zips, grab that gapps package, and then swipe to confirm the flash. That's gonna take about five minutes to flash both packages. When you're finished, it'll say successful, and then you can just reboot your device. Okay, and if all went well, you should be greeted with the Cyanage and Mod boot animation. There you have it, guys. That is the full review of Cyanage and Mod 13 and the quick installation guide. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.